So I've been like trying to record this video for a little bit and I'm kind of struggling with putting my words together tonight, which is okay. Um, it's just how it is right now and we're gonna be real and sit in that. But basically what I wanna say is that Alan Watts once said, according to Buddhist teachings, all things that have form are subject to change and void of any enduring self. But this does not imply that such things are unimportant Importance is not measured by time, and change is a symptom of the presence of life. As a human being on this planet Earth, if you are expecting, and you should expect, you all deserve happiness in every capacity. So if you are expecting to live a happy and fulfilled life, then you should find a place of peace within the idea that you cannot become dependent on any form of literally anything around you, whether it be money, your parents, your friends, that is subject to change. And that form of matter is not going to be there forever. <laughs> oh my God. It may be there your whole lifetime, but it may not. And so, the situation that lies at hand is if you want to live a happy life, you can't be dependent on something else for the simple fact that you are the only thing that will be there until you are not anymore. Change is a crazy, scary thing. It's human nature to create pattern in my nieces and to find patterns in my nieces within our everyday lives. And when those patterns are thrown off, then we get thrown off physically, emotionally, mentally. And it's really important to stay steady and to stay balanced. And sometimes that balance is inevitably gonna be thrown off. But if you can find a way to level everything out and stay neutral, life just sits and feels good. And I think that's really important. And also the fact that this does not mean that those things around you that are subject to change are unimportant. For instance, if I am in a relationship with someone, it doesn't mean they're unimportant, right? Because loving someone doesn't mean you need them. Loving someone means you would give so much for them. External love and external giving and internal love and internal receiving. And there's a very big difference. Being willing to give so much of yourself to someone because you love them is so different than loving someone because of what they give to you. He talks about fish love. And um, a guy is eating a plate of fish and the, the, the other guy says, well, why are you eating that fish? And he says, well, because I love fish. And the other guy says, oh, so that's why I killed it, boiled it, and then started eating it. He's like, you don't love fish. You love yourself, and therefore you eat fish. You don't love the fish. You, you eat the fish. You're taking the fish. It's the same thing, like, oh, I love this person. Well, why? Um, they make me laugh. Oh. Well, then you don't love them, you love laughing and you love yourself and you know that if you're around them, they'll make you laugh. Therefore, depending on them would only do them harm as well as me. So I hope that you guys can take a moment to think about that and just let it soak in however it does and maybe comment something that you take away from this or if you took nothing from this, then that's cool too. <laughs> no, I don't know if any of this made sense. <laughs> I just felt like talking today, and that's what I had to say. I hope it went some way for you, or that you could take it for another day and say, hey. <laughs> that's all I got for you guys. Oh. I should've wrote a script. I should've wrote a script. What's up guys? We're back. 